What up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Been a few weeks, you know, this quarantine. Been fucking your boy up. It's all good, though. Got my boy over here in the back. Say what up, what it do? Y'all know the deal with that, but... Yeah, you know, in this quarantine, we ain't got much to do. We've been working on a truck here and there, but in Cali, it's been raining a lot. At least the LA area. You've been having a lot of rain, so you can't really work on the truck. But that don't mean I can't work on my car. Got the 335i right here. If you can see, I took the lip off, carbon fiber lip, because I'm doing some maintenance, some work on it. If you guys seen my previous videos, you guys would see that it's all cracked up trying to restore and bring it back to life like this spoiler right here so we'll see how that goes yeah we got it right here i already started sanding it down you see the big old crack right here shouldn't be too bad i bought some carbon fiber cloth that i got epoxy over here yeah so i just went ahead and bought this epoxy right here from uh ebay it's like 35 bucks 40 bucks something like that um they have the cloth right here in this bag. So we'll see how this goes. Should turn out pretty good. We'll see. Now, now, just to be clear, I am no professional. Um, I'm just doing this because I don't want to pay the like $400 lip. So I'm just going, fixing it is like 50, 60 bucks. So I'll give it a try. It's my first time doing it. So, and then again, I'm not trying to make it look brand new, you know, restore it back to brand new. Um, I'm really most likely just trying to make it look nice again, presentable at least. So that is the main goal keep that in mind all right guys so next step i'm doing is pretty much just filling in all the little holes all the little cracks with this uh this epoxy i got right here this little jb weld clear it's kind of like a glue it doesn't really turn glass like the other epoxy but basically just to uh, keep the cracks together yeah so this jb weld epoxy is basically just keeping the cracks held and also put some tape just to hold the cracks in place so that epoxy can seal it up and uh should hold pretty good just applied the first piece of carbon fiber not too shabby not too shabby we probably put a little put a little too much resin but don't look bad does not look bad. Should dry up pretty good. It says about 24 hours. So this is just the corner I'm doing. I haven't done the rest of it yet. I'm just testing it out on the, with a small piece just to see how it comes out. And then right now I just did apply the real epoxy and hardener. This one's specifically for carbon fiber. Looks much better already. Yep, and this is the carbon fiber cloth that I'm using. This is real carbon fiber. Got it on eBay. 20 bucks. We just applied it right there. I don't know if you guys can really tell. But we kind of just overlaid it. You can see the edges right there. So, should cure in about 20 hours. See how that comes out. Still got a lot to go. All right, guys. So now that that's sitting and curing, uh, instructions say about 20 hours. So I have to wait till tomorrow. Um, I only did that little patch just to test it out, see how it comes out. So you know, I don't end up using all the carbon fiber and had to order another whole roll. So we'll see how it comes out. Then, um, all right, guys. We're back the next day. Uh, I forgot to record the uh, before I started sanding it, but here's how it looks right now. So I already started sanding it. Um, dried up real hard. It feels like normal carbon fiber. Now I just got to blend it in. 
you guys remember what it looked like before, it was a big old crack right there. Now it's gone, I just gotta blend this in and uh, put epoxy over it again and just keep repeating those steps and uh, do the same with the rest out of lip. Already filled all that in with epoxy, all the holes, all the gaps. And we're getting ready to wrap that with carbon fiber as well. All right, so now we're applying the epoxy to get ready and um, stick the new piece of carbon fiber cloth. Got it measured and laid out right here. Gonna go ahead and stick that on pretty soon. Once we stick that on, soak it up with a bunch of epoxy and then let it dry. So we just laid that carbon fiber cloth. Now we just gotta wait for it to dry. Probably about two, three hours, then put another coat of epoxy and then just let that dry for the rest of the day and come back tomorrow. So now that we got all that sanded down, we're about to apply epoxy the resin to the whole carbon fiber lid so we just sanded the whole thing and now um, we're gonna go ahead and apply some which I already did but I'll go ahead and show you guys that yeah. <laughs> now keep in mind guys still gotta sand all this down we're just applying epoxy just to harden that carbon fiber piece um, still got to re-sand the whole thing, make it even. As you can see, the edges are still, still showing. And, um, yeah, then we got to apply another coat of epoxy. All right, guys, so this is the next day, um, next morning. It's been about 20 hours, probably less, probably like 17, 18. But anywho, this is all dried up now. As you can see, rock hard blend it in i'm uh pretty surprised how well i'm i was able to match up the the pattern so once i gotta sand this whole thing again once i get it sanded down again um i'll probably sand this down with 180 apply another coat sand it probably wet sand then apply one last coat and i should be done so might be done with it tonight, we'll see. But it came out pretty good. So we're done sanding it all. Got it pretty smooth. There's a few, it is a little bumpy. Maybe I should've did two layers. I only did one layer of uh, carbon fiber cloth. You can see the little bumps. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it ain't too bad. Not bad, you know, for my first time. It's all smooth now. Gonna add uh, another layer of epoxy. And we'll go ahead and do that right now. Check it out guys, check it out, check it out. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. For compared to how it used to look before, I'll take it, man, I'll take it. Take it, it ain't done yet. I gotta sand it one more time, add another coat. And then should be good to go. Wait about four hours at, at a, or do sanding. And added last coat might be done tonight but um let me know if you guys want to see like me do other stuff um or if you guys want to see an in-depth review of me doing this carbon fiber like all the steps and all that 
and I'll do it more in depth for you guys if you guys want to see that. I plan on doing more pieces for the for the whip E92. Probably gonna do some mirror caps in carbon fiber. Um, a lot of interior pieces. Uh, I have my uh, these blinkers are wrapped in carbon, so I might just do that real carbon. Might as well since I still got some left over. So yeah, let me know if you guys want to see anything else. And I can put it into works. So this is the next day. And this is how it's looking before the final coat of epoxy. It's looking pretty good, pretty sharp. Got to sand it one more time. And we should be done. I'll take it, I'll take it. First time doing carbon fiber, I'll take it. Can't really see the line. Not too shabby. Boom, and just like that, guys, that is the finished product right there. Check it out. Check it out. I'll take it. I will take it. Do y'all remember how it looked before? That lip was trashed up. So that's it for this video guys like i said it's not much we can do in this quarantine i'm sure y'all know how it is too but uh i'll try to get a video of the the dotson truck coming up here in a few days try to get more content out for the beamer too and um y'all let me know in the comments like other stuff you want to see and shit so that's about it stay tuned don't forget to like comment and most importantly, subscribe. See you guys in the next one.